In this short video we'll review the formula for the area of a circle and for the areas of various composite shapes. The formula for the area of a circle is given by pi multiplied by the square of the radius of the circle. In symbols, area equals pi times r squared. Some people prefer to remember the formula as area equals 3.142 times radius times radius. A lot of people forget that r squared is r squared and treat it as twice r, which of course is wrong. Here's an example. Suppose we had a circle of radius 6. To find the area of the circle, you first write the formula down, area equals pi times r squared. Then you substitute in the numbers. So area equals 3.142 times the square of 6. Multiplying that out gives 3.142 times 36, or 113.112 on your calculator, but then rounding that off to three significant figures gives 113 square centimetres. Your turn. Copy and complete this table. In a second you might want to pause this video to give you time to work out the various calculations. Each row is a different circle. Each column you can work out given the information provided. The two rows with stars on them, C and D, are quite hard and require reverse operations on the formulas. You might want to pause the video now. OK, here are the answers. I suppose, technically, technically speaking, the answer for the area for row B is wrong. It should read 7,860 to three significant figures. Parts of circles. If you've got you know, a fraction of a circle, you can find the area of it simply by dividing by the appropriate fraction. So, for instance, to find half a circle, you multiply by 0.5, and to find a quarter of a circle, you multiply by 0.25. Composite shapes. This building consists of four semicircular lobes, each with a diameter of 8 metres, arranged around a central square. Try calculating the floor area. Again, you might want to pause the video at this point. The shape is made from four semicircles of diameter 8 metres and a square of side 8 metres. The radius of each circle is therefore 4 metres and you have the equivalent of two complete circles. Just add the area of the square on. Again, you might want to pause the video at this point to work out the sum yourself. I got, for the two whole circles, I got 2 times 3.142 times 4 times 4 which gave me just over 100 square metres. The central square, of course, is 64 square metres, so adding those together gave me 164.5 square metres. Your turn. Here are three composite shapes made up from half a circle and a rectangle, two semicircles and a quarter of a circle. You try working out the area of each one of them. In the case of B and C, work out the area of the coloured in section. Again, you might want to pause the video, because the next stage will give some hints, then finally I'll give the answers. Here are some hints. A is a rectangle plus a semicircle. B is a square minus two semicircles, but the diameter of each of the semicircles gives you the dimension of the square. C is a square minus a quarter of the circle. Again, the side of the square is equal to the radius of the circle. You might want to pause at this point to try it yourself. Here are my answers. Again, they're all rounded to three significant figures.